Welcome back all my painting with a purpose friends. Today we are going to be painting a window box with a hummingbird. The brushes you're gonna need are your medium flat brush and your medium and small round brushes. You'll need your rag, your cup of water, and then the paint colors you're gonna need are red, yellow, pink, green, blue, purple. I like to do two spots of white and a brown. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna outline where our window is gonna be so that we don't cover it with background. So I'm gonna use a little bit of blue paint and some white paint on there so it's not too dark. And I am just gonna create a rectangle on my canvas, but I don't want it in the center because I wanna have a big flower box down here. So this rectangle is going to be a little bit high up on my canvas. Wash that brush out and set it aside and let's mix up our background color. I want this to look kind of like an old Tuscan house. So I'm gonna use white and brown and create like a an old weathered look. So I'm just mixing up this white and this brown to get kind of a light brown look. And I might even throw a little bit of yellow in there. So I'm gonna paint everything out here with this color. Now when I paint it, I'm not going to smooth out my brush lines. And it's okay if I go a little bit into my window because I will be covering that up and I don't even mind it when some of that blue pops in there but I'm gonna paint this using some pretty odd brush strokes because I want it to look like an old house. Now, as you can see, I've had to mix a little bit more color up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take these colors and kind of blend them in together so that I do have a nice mix of color, but I also have a little more continuity than yellow down here and brown up there. And remember, these are really messy brush strokes. Let that brush go anywhere it wants to go. Perfect, I love it. I'm gonna take my brush and wash it off. Now I'm gonna paint everything inside of this rectangle with a straight blue color. And I do not mind if that tan Move out my lines left to right. Now this is a point we're gonna let our painting dry for just a minute. So I want you to let your picture dry and then we're gonna come back. We're gonna add in our windowsill, our flower box, and of course, our hummingbird. All right, let's move on to this window box and some flowers. Now you can choose whichever color you want for your window um, to be. I'm gonna make mine a teal color. So to make teal, it's gonna be like 
a third blue, a third green, and a third white. Now, if you want a lighter teal, add more white. If you want it to be more blue, add more blue. So I'm gonna try to make mine relatively even. It's about a third blue, a third green, and I'm gonna make, I think I'm making mine a little bit lighter. I want a light teal. You're just gonna mix that color up until you get what you're looking for. So mine's almost more of a sea foam green. So to fix that, because it's more green, I would need to add more blue to it. And I think I will probably do that. So I added some more blue to it. You can always change your color a little bit. If it's a little bit too blue, add more green. There we go. I think that's probably the color I'm looking for. So now that I have this color, all I'm going to do is just make a very simple rectangle around my window and add in my lines in the middle. So I'm going to make this rectangle that just goes right around my window. Oh yeah, I love that color with that tan background. Now, if you're noticing, what I'm doing is I'm holding my brush and I'm pulling it down flat because then it gets a really nice, even line. I don't have to try to measure it. So now that I have this done, I have to make my lines in the middle. And to do that, I don't want to hold my paintbrush flat. I actually want to hold it perpendicular to my canvas and pull it straight down, making a nice skinny line. And I think I'm going to do one this way, but I'm going to do two going across. Perfect. Now I also want to actually extend the top of mine out a little bit. My own house has a little bit of a taller top. So I'm just going to kind of angle this out put a little triangle on there and then connect it and fill that little piece in. You do not have to do that. You can keep yours a, just a regular rectangle or you can pull it out and make it a little bit fancy schmancy. All right, let's add some green to the bottom. I'm gonna wash my brush off. And all down here, I'm going to add some green and then I'm even going to put some ivy coming down from the top. So to do that, I'm going to be using a mixture of green and yellow and I'm going to be using my round brush. Now the greens are kind of free for all. So I'm going to put green on my brush and yellow on my brush. And I'm going to start right here and I'm just going to make some swirls and these swirls are going to come down. This is just a base layer. We are going to add some more detailed stuff. Don't worry if your brush gets any type of teal on it from your windowsill. Um, now, if you use like a pink or red, you might wanna wait a little bit, let that dry. This is just gonna be kind of a base layer. Add some fun in here. And then I'm gonna pull this color up a little bit into my window. Remember, all I'm doing is little scribble swirls. Some are gonna be darker, some are gonna be lighter. Gonna wipe that brush off. And then I'm gonna make a couple lines of ivy coming from up here. So I'm just gonna take my green and I'm just gonna try to make a skinny little line. And it comes down. So this is just some ivy growing from my roof coming down. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it up in this top corner. Got a little bit too much teal in that, so I'm going to cover it over with some green. Then I'm going to go in with my dark green and I'm going to add spots of dark green. So no yellow on my brush now. I'm just going to add some spots of dark green so that I've got different textures going on on my window. So
Then we're gonna add a small amount of detail to our glass, and then we're gonna let our picture dry again. So I'm gonna take a little bit of white paint on my paintbrush, and I'm going to make just a couple of lines. These are just gonna show a little bit of highlight on my windows. It's gonna be little diagonal lines, kind of what I call ghost lines. You can kind of see them, you kind of don't. Just a little bit of ghost lines going along here. And then you want your painting to dry a little bit because when we come back, we're gonna add some detail to our windowsill and we're gonna put all of our flowers and a sweet little hummingbird coming right in there. All right, I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, now that your art is dry, let's go ahead and add some details. First, we are gonna add some white highlights to our window frame. So to do that, you wanna have a nice dry flat brush, with a little bit of white paint on it, and I'm talking just a little bit of white paint. You're just gonna go across the top as light as you can and pull some of that white in. I'm talking super little bit of paint as light as you can, even over there is fine. And you're gonna even add a couple little lines going down the sides. So on the top, I had my brush flat, and on the side, I'm going up and down with my little lines. If you get too much paint on there, just wipe your brush off and smooth it on out. And even add a little bit of this uh, extra teal if you need to. Now for the flowers, I'm gonna show you three different types of flowers and then you can add them wherever you want. So the first flower I'm gonna show you, it's my favorite one, it's the rose. And I always use it with a finger painting technique where I put red on one half and pink on the opposite half. And I take that and I just make a messy circle. Isn't that easy? You can make them big, you can make them small. After you have your messy circle done, you grab your medium paintbrush with some white paint and you just add a small swirl in it and you've got a rose. You can do roses in any color you want, anywhere you want. Now we're gonna do another flower and I'm, I just totally got my hand all red. We're gonna do another flower and I'm gonna make mine pink and I'm gonna do four fingerprints all in a row with one white fingerprint right here in the middle. Okay, and if you see how those four wet fingerprints kind of ate up that little white print, that's what you are looking for. You want it to really blend in. The last one I wanna show you, I'm gonna use a paintbrush for, so I better wash this pink and white off of there. And this is a flower that can either go up or go down. It all just depends on which way you want it to go. I'm gonna do blue on this side, purple on this side, with a little bit of white on top. And you're just gonna start by making curved lines, okay? And I'm gonna put one here, probably gonna put one here, maybe a third one right there. And to do these, you wanna lay out your lines, and then you wanna take your paintbrush, you wanna start at the line and just kind of pull it out, almost like a little backwards J or a little hook. And you know, you can get fancy and you can throw a little bit of pink in there every once in a while. Grab some more paint when you run out. Do it again on the other side. I'm gonna grab a little bit more pink right there. Pull it up. And the same thing if you're going up tall with it, like this one, you're gonna start here and you can pull those up as you go. So now I want you to be creative with those couple types of flowers I just showed you. I want you to think about what other colors you could make them. I want you to design your own flowers.
Now, once you have your flowers where you like them, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the back of your paintbrush and you can add in little areas of small flowers. And then let's talk about our hummingbird. This is our last major piece of the puzzle. And our hummingbird is gonna be flying right here towards these roses. So we're gonna start with white paint and we're gonna create a body. And this body is really just a long skinny triangle. I mean, long skinny oval that goes at an angle. So we're coloring it white first so that we can get a nice solid background color for our beautiful, greens and pinks of the hummingbird to sit on. Now the wings of the hummingbird, they kind of go up and then they have a slight angle out. They just kind of swoop back in. And the second one, you can't see the whole thing. So you actually just kind of do this part right here. And then his tail is going to be down here inside part of these flowers. Little hummingbird head is a circle right here on the top of his body. And then his long skinny beak. The hummingbird wings are purple and pink, and the body is green and white. So we're gonna start with the purple, because we want it to be a light purple. And I'm gonna outline the top of both wings. And then I'm gonna wipe my brush off, because I want it to be a light purple color. So I'm actually gonna take a little bit more of this paint off. And I'm just gonna gently pull that color down so that it softens up into that white but has that dark purple on top. Wipe that brush off. I'm gonna go in with pink and I'm going to start by making my pink going from here down. And I'm gonna have it going from the purple out past my wing line so that it looks like feathers. Now back here, I'm just gonna add pink paint back here. Can't really make it look like feathers in the back. Wipe that brush off. The tail is actually just a series of purple and pink lines. Do some purple lines, add some pink lines in. Now let's talk about this green. We actually want it to be a nice yellow green. So I'm gonna take some green color and a lot of yellow and I'm gonna mix up a nice bright green. We don't want our hummingbird to be the exact same color as the uh, leaves around him. So with this now, I'm going to cut a line right around his head. I'm gonna make a little arched line on his head. And then I'm going to make a swooping line. So it's just almost like a very small curved line on his buddy. I'm gonna go ahead and paint that area in with this light green. I do want to fatten his belly up just a little bit. So I'm just going to give it a small little bump on there. I 
And on that small bump, I'm gonna add just a very small amount of purple right down here. So again, I'm just gonna add a little bit of purple like I did on the wing. And then I'm gonna take my paintbrush and kind of tap that color down a little bit. So there's just a little bit of purple. Now up here at the top of his head, right by where his beak is gonna be, there is a pink area right at the top of his chest. It's almost like he's got a tie on. And then his beak, we're gonna paint dark purple. He's got a dark purple beard on him, so we're gonna add a little bit of purple. A little bit of white, and we're gonna tap that color up onto his face. I'm gonna go ahead and now paint the rest of his face in green. If you need to darken up any of that green on his head, you can. This is a good time to do it. Then I'm gonna use the back of my paintbrush with some dark purple paint. I'm gonna put a little eye spot right there. A little bit more dark purple paint. I'm just gonna add a couple of little small lines down here for his belly. I do want to lighten the top of his body up so it looks like he's got some sun shining on him. So I'm going to use a little bit of yellow paint. I'm going to just add a little bit of yellow up here on the top of his head and going down his back. Now let's talk about my ivy up here. For my ivy, I'm going to use my dark green paint and I'm just going to drop a couple of little spots of green. Maybe add in a little bit of yellow to some of them. Don't forget when you're finished, you need to pick a color that's gonna show up really well. Sign your name. Send us a copy on our Painting with a Purpose Facebook page. We always love to see the pictures you guys make. Make sure that you um, click like and subscribe on our YouTube channel so we can continue to keep offering these classes for free to you. Have a great day, friends.